welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing another sticker with me video working in my sticker book from the BFF Sticker Club. So if you haven't watched my any of my previous videos, I will link them below. I have a playlist working throughout this album and also this sticker book from last year. So this one is from 2022 and it's totally filled with tons of stickers for the entire year, which is so fun to look back on. So I did do a video um, doing a flip through of that album and then starting this one um, at the beginning of the year. So once again, that will be linked below. But if you haven't uh, seen any of these videos before, I'll give you a brief little summary of what I'm talking about here. So there's a super fun stickering community over on Instagram called the BFF Sticker Club. I will also put all of their info below if you want to check them out. And if you're not following them and you're into anything colorful, fun, joyful, sticker crafting, anything, you've got to give them a follow. They are so much fun. They do all kinds of great things um, that they offer for free over on Instagram, such as a Monday Live where they go on and do a bunch of sticker talk and it's always a fun community time every Monday. They also do a sticker challenge that they present to the community every Wednesday. Um, and then they share sticker shops, small shops. They share all kinds of people throughout the community that are interested in stickers. A great way to build community and make uh, friends with like interest. So I love it a lot. But another thing that they offer is some really, really fun products in their Etsy shop. And one of my favorite things is the year of sticker book. So like I said, it started, uh, the sticker book started in 2022. So I have this one completely filled. And then we've moved on to the sticker book for 2023. So I'll give you a brief little overview of the sticker book, just in case you haven't checked out the other videos. But if you want any more detail, definitely uh, check my playlist. So essentially this book is a sticker book where there's a place for each and every day of the year and you just put down a sticker. So you can put down just a sticker that you're vibing with, that you're enjoying, or you can try to tell a little sticker story of your day, which is what I typically do, such as making banana bread, the cats going to the vet, cleaning, just different things. I just try to find a way to kind of tell a little bit of a story with my stickers and I've got to say this book is so fun. One of my favorite parts of my day or of my week. Sometimes I'm a little behind as I was this week. You'll see when we get into the um, voiceover where I actually work on a process with you guys here at the end of the video, uh, which I've actually already done. So you're going to see a little sneak peek of the stuff that we're going to work on today, but I'll just try to go through that quickly. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun thing to work on and just like Today, I was a little bit behind, but I've kind of designated Wednesdays as my official stickering day because that's when the challenge comes out. So I'll always catch up on any of my sticker days on Wednesday mornings and then do the challenge that uh, comes out that morning as well. So yes, the first half of the book is just where you put down stickers to represent your day. And it's so much fun. It's such a, a neat little memory keeping, um, just a really unique way to memory keep. I I think and I've had so much fun working in here it's definitely a great quiet time activity for me to just kind of put something on the TV or on the computer hang out and play with my stickers and I've got to say I know that actually sticking down stickers is kind of an issue for a lot of people understandably because once they're stuck they're pretty much stuck but that's one of the best parts of the sticker book is that it gives you a place specifically. I'm going to kind of flip through that quickly because those are the ones that we work on today. But it gives you a place specifically to stick your stickers where you're allowed to stick them and they kind of have a purpose, which for me just makes more sense to have a book where I have a, a reason to stick down my stickers. They don't feel like I'm really just stickering with pure abandon, which of course is great, but a lot of people do have issues with sticking the stickers down and it's totally uh i think that's something that all of us deal with so after you get through the first half of the book that are kind of the the daily stickering pages the second half is all about the challenges so there's a page in the book for every week of the year and you just go ahead and do the challenge right here in this book and i love this part too because it gives you a nice little parameter for the challenge it's not too big but it allows you enough space to kind of 
get jiggy with your stickers, which is always really fun. So for the first challenge of the year, we might have done this one together. I can't remember which one we actually worked on in the previous video. So you might've seen a couple of these, but, um, but this was the first one at the start of the year. So like I said, every Wednesday they'll present a challenge party like it's 2023. You can just put the title and the date at the bottom and then sticker away. So we'll just briefly go through all of these stickers I wish were scratch and sniff. That was definitely super fun. Breakfast stickers, woodland, stickers who are in love, super cute, hearts, pink and red. Moving on to stickers with tails. But this one was quite a challenge. I had to be kind of creative with that one. Um, stars, Happy Mail, one of my definite favorite types of um, sticker challenges there. This one was really fun. Stickers that start with the first letter of your name. So mine were, you know, L. Um, trip to the Salon. Technology. I loved this one too because I was able to use a lot of my kind of throwback uh, vintage stickers like from the 90s vibes here to do like the retro technology. This one was Roy G. Biv or basically a rainbow challenge which is always super fun. Nostalgic, loved using my nostalgic stickers. See like these for instance, I would have trouble sticking these down just anywhere because I love my nostalgic stickers and they're like my favorite type of stickers to get but I really don't mind sticking them in this book because they have a purpose, they have a place. I love to look back on my little sticker creations and um, I really enjoy stickering them in here. It's raining cats and dogs and lazy Sunday morning. I'm going to flip it because we work on the yellow challenge together, so I don't want to get too ahead of myself. But anyway, so yeah, that is basically what you work on here in the sticker book, and it is so much fun. So highly suggest if you just want an activity, an easy activity. I feel like so much of us in the memory keeping community, we always have to have a reason to do this, a reason to do that. It's so strict with all of the, the rules for different projects that we work on. And that's why I love this one because there are no rules within stickering. It's just purely for fun. But before we get into the process video, I wanted to show you one other super fun thing that just got announced yesterday. So I was able to design a sticker sheet with the BFF Sticker Club. So my sticker sheet is now out in their Etsy shop. So if you're interested in purchasing one, I will definitely link that below. But besides my sticker sheet, they've teamed up with tons of other super talented people and they have so many sticker sheets available through their Etsy um, that are definitely worth a look. Plus they have so much great merch and other stickers that, you know, they've created themselves or that they've, you know, gotten created for the BFF Sticker Club, um, especially. So super fun and a super uh, great small shop to um, support. So I will definitely put all of their info below if you wanna check anything out. And with that, it is now time to go into the process video. So we will start that now. All right, y'all, now it is time to work on the sticker challenge for the week. So as you saw, it was the color yellow. I personally love a good color challenge. They're just super easy. You don't really have to think about the theme too much. Just pop in anything that you find that has that color in it. So I love yellow as a color in general. So this was a really fun, happy, bright challenge. So before I turned on the camera, I do have um, one big box, like it's a clear storage bin, I guess, from Target that I keep a lot of my loose stickers. So I went through that sticker box very quickly and I pulled out any uh, loose sticker packs that I had not transferred into my sticker book yet that had some yellow stickers on there that I thought would maybe work in the challenge. Otherwise, I have two sticker books here that you'll see me kind of work through and they uh, are just books that are made for you to put your stickers inside that have release paper so you can take the stickers back out of the book and then put them into their final spot. So I personally love to have sticker books like that and typically whenever I get new stickers I will add them into my sticker book with the release paper. So then if I want a sticker on the go 
it's a really nice thing to have. So if I want a sticker from bed or sticker from, you know, the kitchen or something, I am able to just grab those portable sticker books and my BFF sticker book and then I can get going. So otherwise, if they're all just in a box or something, I feel like it's just more difficult because you have to like just go through sheets and sheets of stickers instead of just flipping right through a book. Now my sticker books, they are a little messy and they really could use some TLC to get them back like organized a little bit and um, add some new stickers give them some new life here you can see as I'm flipping through a lot of the pages are a little bare don't have a ton going on so uh, it definitely could use a bit of a refresh but maybe that will be on my agenda here at some point but basically with these challenges, it's just so fun. Like I was saying before at the beginning of the video, it's such a great uh, thing to do just for yourself if you enjoy stickering and or if you just like stickers and you want to try something new. I'm telling you, it's really fun. Of course, it brings back that nostalgic feel of being a kid, which I personally love. And I love... Um, having a designated spot for my stickers within the parameters of this book. I think it's really nice and it really does make it easier to stick those stickers down. So, um, and as far as actually working on the page, it's just such a nice activity to do. Around here, me and Will are on kind of opposite schedules. So he works later and so he wakes up a little bit later than me. So I always have um, some time in the morning where I'm kind of free to just answer emails, you know, reply to comments, do all of those kind of like quiet time activities. So on Wednesday, I love being able to work on my sticker challenge. So basically, I just wait for the BFF Sticker Club to announce the challenge over on Instagram and I get going and it's really a wonderful start to my Wednesdays. So it's really fun. And as you can see, super easy. We're already done with it. And there you have it. That is my yellow challenge for the week. So before we finish up though, I did want to um, work on some of these daily pages. So I don't think I've worked on any of these in a video before, but this is definitely my favorite part of the album. I love the challenges. They're super fun, but there is something really, really special about these daily little stickering spots here on these daily pages that I just really love. So typically I try not to let myself get so uh, far behind this particular week. I did. Um, I got a little behind, but um, I try to just, you know, jog my memory and try to think of something that I did from each day and actually working on the Hobonichi um, and doing daily journaling has really helped me to kind of uh, be able to like flip through that album and remember little things that happened throughout uh, the day the different days of the week that I want to talk about so as I'm adding them in I'll kind of tell you about some of the pages here so uh, or the little spots here so I believe that first one April 28th that looks like it was a book club meeting I'll have to check and make sure but I think that that was the patreon book club so I tried to use a lot of fun book stickers the next one was definitely the day that me and my mom grabbed uh, our favorite takeout for the family and I have all the Chinese food boxes and everything which are so cute those are from pip sticks the next one that is whenever I was recording my vlog video for patreon on. I was working on that all day long. So I love that. Um, I love that sticker of that cute like little bear with uh, the boxes, which just reminds me of having all my stuff out ready to vlog. And I even use some cute, really small fuzzy alphas from Pipsticks to spell out vlog on that one. Then the next one, I use my Dingo Mart stickers um, from Korea. And those are some of my favorite stickers ever. And they are of a movie theater. So that worked out so perfectly because that day me and Will went to see the new Mario movie in the theater so that was perfect then on May 2nd um, I was playing with stickers working with some of my pip stick stickers I think I had finally looked through one of my new uh, pip sticks uh, subscription packs so I wanted to document that the following day I ate a lot of ramen so Will brought home some ramen and it's one of my favorite things to eat so I was like obsessed with eating it for a couple days then on the fourth we're moving on to a crafty day I love to have a lot of crafty stickers um, so that I can easily 
put those for a lot of different days because I do a lot of crafting. The next one was a day where I went to the bookstore and got coffee with one of my friends, Amanda. And that last day, me and my mom went to get our nails done together. So I documented that. Now this one, of course, was a really fun one because I was able to pop on a few of my own stickers from the sticker sheet that I designed for the BFF Sticker Club, which was such an awesome, amazing experience that I'm so grateful to have been able to do. So I love that I was able to fit in a few of my very own stickers there into um, May 9th. Then we're moving on to the 8th. Sometimes I don't do them in order, obviously, as I'm trying to think of what it is that I want to do. But on the 8th, I wanted to document my mom leaving for a work trip. So I found a really cute little thought bubble that said, I miss you so much or something like that. So I thought that that would work perfectly for a day that my mom was leaving for her trip. And then I do not remember what I put for the 7th. So that will be a surprise. Oh, okay. This one, I used some of my kind of scary stickers um, to document watching uh, Yellow Jackets. So me and Will have been binge watching Yellow Jackets and it does get a little freaky sometimes. So I loved adding on a few of the kind of witchy stickers that I have and some of the little scared stickers that I have. And it's always really fun to create these little scenes of just different things that go on throughout daily life. So I just, I love this book. What can I say? So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Super fun stickering with you today. If you did, please give me a like. Please also consider subscribing. Definitely check out the BFF Sticker Club and I will chat with you guys later. Bye y'all.